Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Sethum and welcome back to another video guide for Ark Survival Evolved. Today in this video, folks, I'm going to be showing you how to tame the anglerfish. Now, one thing to know about the anglerfish is that you don't need a saddle to ride it, and I'll show you that in a bit. But also, it does tend to swim quite deeply, so you'll have to go fairly deep. Now, when you do that, you run the risk of running in all sorts of trouble. So I brought with me my Megalodon, a bit of protection, but against eels and the um, jellyfish, not much help there. So you want to build a trap. I am a big fan of traps. This is what I brought with me. I'm going to show you a simple trap to do. You can make it half the size that I will in terms of height. It's up to you really how you choose to do that. Now you can outswim the um, angler fish and as you can see when I type in here angler it does not show up anything so it doesn't really need a saddle. That means of course it does not take uh, damage reduction for the simple fact that it does not have a saddle but that's also good because you don't have to craft it and it does have its uses apart from the fact that um, it uh, lights up the way it does have the ability to swim fairly fast and you can use it to kite other uh, underwater creatures into traps as i will show you in other videos in terms of kibble it prefers the regular kibble and it is a knockout tame so there is one up there now i am fairly deep in the ocean here in arc i am on ragnarok so i am a bit wary of everything around me there is a lot of dangers on Ragnarok there's like a lot of creatures that spawn in the waters and I do have the dino spawn rate increased to two possibly three I can't quite remember what the setting is meaning that there is double the trouble for me so I need to be very cautious here I am only on a Megalodon and a Megalodon is no match for the um, eels or the jellyfish so we're going to start off with a foundation we're going to be two by four you can make it longer but i think that is efficient enough and uh, i'm just quite worried because i know there's the eels up there and don't want them to actually wander into where i'm trying to build a trap also as an important note i am wearing tech armor which does allow me this great visibility and for this, of course, being underwater, you will need at least a scuba set. You won't have the same visibility as me, but for the purposes of you guys seeing what I'm doing, I'm going to use the tech set, and you have to have the full tech set in order to have this visibility. Remove one piece, and it just goes back to normal visibility underwater. So for this, we're going to go up four window frames, you want window frames, you can use door frames, but with window frames, if you have eels following you, they cannot get into the trap. Whereas with the door frames, they can actually get through door frames and follow you into the trap. It's really up to you how you choose to make this trap. And you can leave it just at two height. But I'm going to go at four walls tall. Um, that does make the trap a bit more expensive, but it does also make it more efficient in that um there's less chance for the angler fish to actually uh miss the trap when it's following me when i'm kiting it it's a bit therapy and i don't really want to dismount my megalodon here there's quite a few things around me that i don't like now of course whilst i am doing the building of the trap off the back of a megalodon i will not be using the megalodon any any further than actually building the trap i just want to have the extra security whilst i'm doing the trap back here we're going to go with one row of window frames four tall and then on the other one we're going to put a door frame so that is going to be our exit out of the trap should we need to exit it for whatever reason so down there is my door frame then three window frames on top of that I'm gonna have to reposition here now I suggest building this trap in an area where you know that anglerfish tend to spawn quite often as you can see 
it does take a few resources and you can build it out of stone i've just chosen to build mine out of metal because that was my personal preference and choice it does not have to be metal so that's quite important as well i am being very cautious now right at the back i'm going to show you a little trick to do that will allow you to actually knock out the angler fish from within the trap and on that note it is important to, to kind of point out that it is a knockout tank meaning you will have to knock it out and then feed it its kibble and wait for it to tame so keep looking at those guys because they kind of worry me now in here right at the back we're going to set up another wall we're going to use window frames and a door as well so i want it opposite to the other door at the back so i'll do that this should allow me to actually knock out the anglerfish from this position and so therefore i will be safe in the trap with the anglerfish unable to get at me whilst other things are outside of the trap so that's the idea behind this method you don't have to put this up i like that extra security the water biome in arc can be quite treacherous and i just think this is a good way of kind of keeping stuff out whilst you are busy trying to knock out a tame so let's do this i want to try and size it up so that it's perfect or you know good enough not really like seeing gaps it does set off my ocd so with that being said i've done that's the trap leave the gate open find an anglerfish and kite it in i will show you that in the next section i'm still worried about those eels though so from this point forth, I'm just going to put my Megalodon in a cryopod. He served his purpose and has no further purpose from here on. This is my target right there. So just swim close enough to him or to the anglerfish to the point where you get its attention and then turn around. As you can see, I am using the scuba flippers because they make you swim faster than you would with the tech armor. Of course, the tech armor does have that boost. But a lot of people may not necessarily have the tech armor. I've got two anglerfish following me. I want the one that is closest to me because that is of a high level. So I'm going to have to wait for it to catch up. I'm going to align myself with the trap. Okay, it is getting close to me. Oh, and that is a bit annoying. It's in the trap. Oh, I really hate that ability on the tech armor. Close the gates, swim out, and then, as you can see, that's why you want to be inside the trap. Now, I'm going to get knocked out, so I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, I survived that. I'm going to put the tech helmet on. We do have that uh, scorpion still on us, but it's busy with the trap, so that kind of gives us that option. And that's why I wanted this right here. Now, things may come up to the trap while I'm trying to knock out the anglerfish. Uh, however, I should be fairly safe here. Now, I don't know where that thing is. It was here. It might have just wandered off. Who knows? So, from this point forth, it's just a simple case of using whatever method you prefer to knock it out. I'm going to go with the crossbow and the drank arrows you can use anything else you want but this is what most people will have access to and for the purposes of this guide that is what i will use you can't see him so i can just creep towards the door and just put some arrows in the anglerfish it will get it quite close to being killed off but it should not kill it off before it gets knocked out as you can see there are quite a few things out there trying to get to me there is his angler buddy trying Don't to nip at me but they cannot do that because i am in the trap safely with this angler fish now as you can see there if you don't back out quickly enough uh you can get nipped by the angler fish so do keep that in mind but it does also allow me to creep towards the door and just put arrows in it until it gets knocked out now nothing really too complicated knock it out wait for it to starve or put kibble in it it should be fairly safe inside the trap it's up to you make sure you have some narcotics with you should you need it whoop 
I need to be careful here. I don't want to get bit. Oh, and he still got me. I'm looking around, trying to figure out where all the other bad things are. But I'll see you guys in a bit when it's knocked out. Once the anglerfish's torpor reaches a high enough level, as you've seen there, it will be more focused on wanting to swim away. Now, you can do this without the use of a trap. However, once it swims away, and one of the things that most sea creatures will do is they will attack you, then swim away, then attack you. Once the torpor levels reach a high enough level, they will want to swim away, and you'll have to chase them. You can catch up with the anglerfish, however, it may swim towards dangerous things, such as eels, um, mantas, and pretty much anything else that wants to kill you in the uh, water biome. So that's why I prefer using a trap. Now it is knocked out. I am going to feed it and wait for it to tame. The anglerfish, as I said, doesn't have a saddle, but it is a useful creature, especially when it comes to going into dark places. It's got that little thing on its forehead, which does create some light, and it's going to be helpful. But also, I like it for the purposes of kiting other sea creatures into traps. Once it's starved enough, you can then put the kibble in its inventory, and if you're going to use the starving technique i suggest using dodo decks it is an amazing app that you can find both for android and ios devices and it will tell you how long you need to starve a creature for so that you can fully tame it once you put the kibble in it and it does also help with breeding and other such things in the game as you can see it does have a decent carry weight it does have okay health you can make it tankier should you wish uh, and you can of course increase the swim speed and that is pretty much it with regards to how to get the anglerfish it is a pretty cool creature I like the way it looks I like its uses it is small it's got the possibility of being a fairly fast swimmer you don't need a saddle for it so you don't have to go finding resources to craft a saddle but that does also make it uh, fairly weak in that it will take more damage from creatures as it doesn't have a saddle to reduce the incoming damage and that is pretty much it for this video. Folks, that's how you tame an angler fish. I do hope that you have enjoyed it and found it useful and informative. If you have, please don't forget to support me and the channel by hitting that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new and haven't already for more similar content from myself. And if you have just subscribed, why not check out some of my other videos and guides here on this channel? Who knows, you might just enjoy them. Also, don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you get notified when I upload new videos and content to the channel. And of course, for those interested, you can always find me on the Sethtopia Discord. Links to this, of course, you can find down below in the video's description, as well as in a pinned comment from myself. Until next time, stay safe, folks.